Oh, greetings, dear viewers. Anthony Marsh Jr. on Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Fan Film with a brand new edition of the Terra Adventure Podcast, bringing you episode 323, presented by my Morphin Megaverse Power Rangers Facebook group. Haven't joined? Check it out now. Over the past week, everybody in the, the entire uh, uh, Power Rangers fandom community has been... If you, if you will, has been grieving over the fact that Netflix had removed, if not all of the Power Rangers, except for Mighty Morphin and Beast Morphers. Um, I just want to bring this up a little bit real quick. I'm not, I don't want to spend all day or all night rambling on about it because then I'll drone out if, um, if need be. But if you haven't been following, um, Lately, uh, on some of the updates for those out there that are also not Netflix subscribers and are, but are Power Ranger fans, you probably haven't got for those out there who probably didn't get the memo that Netflix, as of February first, had already removed most of, if not all of, the majority of Power Rangers off the service. It's because due to the fact Hasbro didn't want to come up with the new contract agreement with Netflix, the you know to keep Power Rangers on the service because I think that with the future. Uh, for the franchise, um, or if not all of the fr all of the franchise being on s other services, not Netflix, um, is probably why I think Hasbro doesn't want to renew the contract. It's been ten years since Power Rangers did had its uh, way on Netflix since Saban bought the franchise back, and then following Samurai, and then 2012 came along. And when Super Samurai happened, when Sublime made a deal with Shout Factory, a contract with Shout Factory to bring the first 17 seasons of Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin through RPM, to DVD, Netflix was one of the many options for anyone who wants to watch the series on Netflix instead of doing the DVDs. Well, I for one had went both ways with the franchise in terms of viewing it. I started with the DVD, well, starting with my DVD of Lost Galaxy, but then when I watched Lost Galaxy on Netflix and several other Power Ranger seasons like Time Force, Dino Thunder, Wild Force, Lightspeed Rescue, Turbo, and Mighty Morphin, seasons like that, for example, I did also stream most of those seasons because um, most of the time what I did was, before I even collected most of the majority of the seasons on DVD, I had to binge watch the ones I didn't have on DVD, like Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo, uh, so forth, all the way to at least Dino Charge Season 1 five years ago. I was a Netflix subscriber f for the last, f you know, for the last five years since 2016, and I told everyone that one at one point that I did watch Power Rangers in 2016 on Netflix to see if it was worth watching it on the platform if I don't feel like doing the DVDs. But since Netflix had already took most of those seasons off, I'm glad I already got the DVDs in case this point in time had already happened. Because once Hasbro got the franchise, the Power Rangers. They were not going to, you know, continue contracts that was left over from Saban because Hasbro pretty much. I know some of you are out there already bitter that Hasbro wants to start completely fresh and wipe the slate completely clean from what was established from Saban, even though as much as I didn't like Saban's current tenure with the franchise with, you know, their newest era, their past new era. But with Hasbro taking over the franchise, I think there's a reason there's, you know, Power Rangers needed to be taken off Netflix at some capacity because I know for those out there who don't do DVD viewing anymore of the show, but there's other means you can watch Power Rangers if Netflix is no longer available. Following Netflix's removal of Power Rangers, I had recommended on this Facebook on the Facebook group for um, that I always sponsor the podcast and such with, and also other links to people who want to find Power Rangers or all of the seasons from Mighty Morphin through Beast Morphers in, in order for for them to continue rewatching those old episodes over and over and over and over for continued enjoyment. There is a website that I found as an alternative for Netflix removing all of the seasons. Well, Kiss Cartoon is an option, but I was also thinking there's this one website I'll recommend. It's called tuko.com. Tuko Z is a all tokusatsu hub where they feature all of the Super Sentai, all of Kamen Rider, Metal Heroes, and of course Power Rangers, and plus Godzilla and Ultraman on that site. And on that website, you can find all of the seasons of Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin through Beast Morphers on there, as even as well as KissCartoon.com. 
and some other hubs. But when it came to Netflix, I've noticed that most of the majority of the entire Power Rangers fandom, where one of the reasons why the franchise had a huge major resurgence now was because due to Netflix, because most of the majority of the entire fandom of Power Rangers mostly rely on watching the show on Netflix instead of the Shout Factory and or Lionsgate DVDs instead. While for those who want to stick to physical media like me, i rather choose to have Power Rangers on physical because it, there was going to be a time that if anybody like Saban or Hasbro didn't renew the contract with Netflix to continue uh, streaming all seasons of Power Rangers then they would, you know, let the contract expire and remove most of those seasons, if not, or the entire franchise of Power Rangers, and you would have no choice but to either go to other websites to watch all those old episodes and new episodes, or uh, get the DVDs of the show. But I would recommend for anyone who's not much of a streaming person, you know, who does do streaming but does physical at the same time, if I, or if I want to recommend to those who don't like streaming services like Netflix, stick to just doing physical media media because physical media will you know it still matters because ever since COVID-19 last year and ever since the big resurgence of the pandemic last year everybody's been binging a lot of TV and movies you know TV shows and movies on services like Netflix and Disney Plus since this pandemic because it seemed like the more people rather do streaming as opposed to physical media I think that's probably where, you know, there was a huge decline in sales of physical Blu-ray and DVD media. Well, no, I still have interest in physical media as much as I do streaming media, but physical media comes first for me. But streaming is only for certain content and, and certain, you know, certain documentaries or certain, you know, original movies or TV shows, but I don't watch most of the tv shows that as much as i want to own a tv show you know want to watch a tv show on a streaming service knowing the fact that you know these things do happen with these streaming services and of course you know due to the contracts and due to the fact that some services may tend to either continue stream those shows or movies or just let the contracts with the studios who made a deal to stream that particular program or film uh, on the service and just let the contract expire and just have it off the service because for those out there who don't want to do physical uh, stream, you know physical media and find that particular movie or show you know that the physical versions of these shows and movies on DVD and Blu-ray still exist I know that with the future of streaming services it's like nobody wants to do DVDs it's like DVDs is like now the way of how when D well I remember how growing up when I remember back two decades ago when DVD became so popular by the early 2000s, VHS, you know, especially when movies that were out back circle of 1999 up to 2004 were out during those five years following the decline of VHS. And I remember whenever whatever movies that were out in theaters back between 1999 to 2004, they would usually come out on DVD more, but not much copies on VHS because VCRs and VHS was becoming less and less prominent, whereas DVDs were more convenient because unlike VHS tapes, which were, you know, again, based on my my uh, memory of that, when you had a movie that you wanted to watch after it had been in theaters. But, you know, one of the reasons why I preferred having movies on DVD back then as opposed to VHS growing up is because... You know how much of a struggle it was waiting for a movie you wanted to see that was in theaters and then wait for it a little bit for so long to come out on VHS? That's why when DVD was created back in the late 90s, it made home video distribution for those theatrically released movies that were just in the theaters come out very quicker. Even for movies that had had been on DVD before the DVD thing cre was created, you know, there were a couple of titles I can think of. And, you know, movies that were out in the 80s, 90s, and earlier that had never had DVD treatments until, like, way later. But now that, thanks to streaming, it's like DVD and Blu-ray is now becoming a thing of the past. But see, this is why I'd rather stick to physical media. But at the time I'm recording this podcast, I pretty much already own nearly, if not all, of the Power Rangers. But so far, at the time of re I'm recording this podcast episode, I only have only the Shout Factory DVDs of Power Rangers not much on the Lionsgate ones. The Shout Factory ones being Zio all the way through RPM. 
but also I need all of Mighty Morphin plus Alien Rangers. And then, of course, the uh, first two Power Ranger movies, Mighty Morphin and Turbo on uh, Blu-ray by Shout Factory. And then I already got all my Shout Factory licensed Power Rangers DVDs and Blu-rays and on to the Lionsgate ones with the Neo Saban era. But knowing the fact, well, I hate to break it for those who want to collect uh, Samurai and Super Samurai. Unfortunately, Samurai and Super Samurai are hard to get on DVD and or Blu-ray at this point because if you go on, but man, if you go on Amazon and eBay, the prices for them are very ridiculous because, well, scalpers. I just want to let everyone know for those who want to own Samurai and Super Samurai on DVD and or Blu-ray though. But yeah, you can manage to get copies of Megaforce, Dino Charge, and Ninja Steel in their respective two seasons all on DVD and or Blu-ray if Blu-ray is optionable for Megaforce through Super Ninja Steel. But, you know, Netflix has been known for, in, as, w as well as like any other streaming service like Hulu and, and uh, Peacock, they tend to let certain things go because each month, month after month, they would have some new content for each month. And then once that month is over, then they move on to the next thing, the stream, and then once something is popular. It's like, you know, when it's the most popular movie or TV show, they let it go for a couple of months. But when it's something that's not popular, something not popular, not as popular, gets to stay on longer. I'm just like, why is it that when a streaming service like Netflix and Hulu has some of the most popular movie and TV show titles, it it's only around for a certain time because of a, a certain contract. When it's something not as significant or popular, they let that thing go. You know, Netflix has done this with a lot of TV shows. I know for a lot of those who are fans of TV shows like Breaking Bad, um, The Office, and Friends, for example. And whenever they announce that they're removing this show because, well, we just wanted to let the contract go. But thanks due to the fact that we have streaming services like Peacock and Disney+, Plus, most of the majority of the content from Fox, Disney, and Universal, NBC Universal even... Um, and Warner Brothers and most are on most of those services. So therefore, Netflix is pretty much of a dead slate of a service. I mean, I remember when I first started subscribing to Netflix, and I know I'm a late bloomer to Netflix. Aside from Power Rangers, I used to stream five years ago. I used to stream the Marvel Netflix shows that were on at the time, like Daredevil, Luke Cage when it first came out, and um, Jessica Jones. But the last time I watched any Netflix before they start putting all that controversial, messed up content that you pretty much know I don't want to mention on, the con on, on my channel because I don't want to start nothing with that. Um, then I decided I think there's a good reason I should stop watching Netflix and subscribing to them because they started getting grosser and grosser with some of the, the most outspoken content of you know that they've done of their originals. You know, Netflix can keep that gross stuff like Big Mouth, for example, but they want to, but yet they can let go of popular TV shows like Power Rangers and Friends and whatever other popular show that they had on their service despite, you know, following a certain contract and depending on a certain tenure with that contract. Because I've noticed that most of the majority of the entirety of the fandom, again, but back to Power Rangers. Most of the majority of the fandom mostly watches Power Rangers on Netflix, but I know a lot of people tend to do Netflix because it seems like it's more easier to do Netflix as opposed to, you know, grab a copy of the series on DVD. If, if it's on Netflix, it's more convenient because if you got a Netflix subscription or had a Netflix subscription, um, it's more convenient to watch Power Rangers than grab a copy of, let's say, Dino Thunder or Mystic Force or Mighty Morphin Season 2 out of your entire DVD collection, out of your entire pool of DVD TV shows and movies to choose from. Because it's like, then what was the, then I don't know what was the point of the Shout Factory and Lionsgate DVDs if most of the majority of the fans want to do, you know, Netflix. I mean, again, it's based on preference, of course. But knowing to the fact that Netflix, for what it was, I mean, Netflix used to be good, but after 2017, and uh, in my opinion, after 2017, Netflix really 
changed. And by the time I had already lost my three month subscription for that year, after I had binge watched Beetleborgs and VR Troopers. And also speaking of which, not only they got rid of Power Rangers, but they also got rid of the Saban shows that Hasbro doesn't have the license to. Beetleborgs and Beetleborgs Metallics, both seasons of VR Troopers, and Ninja Turtles and Exputation. And I've already mentioned, if you want to hear what I said, what I had, uh, you know, informed about on that vlog in person about Netflix removing Power Rangers, check out the video. The link is on the description in the box below. Um, and check out how I felt about that video. But having Netflix removed, move, removing Power Rangers is, well, it seems like a really bad move because most of the majority of the fandom watches Power Rangers because... Again, a lot of people find it more convenient. It seems like I am repeating it, but but you get the point because I know I, I have a tendency of repeating myself. But now that let's move on to the next tangent because I only have five more minutes. Um, what I think what should happen and is like, okay, what Netflix had already removed most of Power Rangers except Mighty Morphin and Beast Morphers. But also, by the by, if you're also for those looking for Ninja Steel guess what? They took Ninja Steel off, but they didn't say anything about taking Ninja Steel off uh, Netflix. They just wanted to keep that, that because most of the kids that used to watch Ninja Steel when it aired it still should have just stayed on there because it was a more recent season. It was just only Alien Rangers through Dino Supercharged they had to take off. Alongside the Saban shows, the Ameritoku Saban shows, Beetleborgs, VR Troopers, and Ninja Turtles. TNM. But... Most of the majority of people, if, if, if anyone wants to find, let's say, a season like Dino Thunder or Wild wow Force on Netflix, you're not, you know you're not going to find that season. Um, and same go for the Saban shows that were like Power Rangers, um, Beetleborgs and VR Troopers, for example. They took those off. And therefore, but knowing the fact, Shout Factory, following the announcement of the Netflix expiration for those shows... Shout Factory had announced that they're no longer printing any more copies of VR Troopers and Beetleborgs on DVD. But yeah, you can get a bunch of copies of Ninja Turtles and Next Mutation, but not much copies of Beetleborgs and VR Troopers, unfortunately. It's very rather unfortunate. I don't know whether if Hasbro wants to negotiate a deal with another streaming service to air, you know, the stream Power Rangers. But Amazon Prime Video, I think, should have all of the seasons. If you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can still watch uh, Power Rangers on there if you have Amazon Prime on uh, for Prime Video. But for, like, let's say, free streaming services, I think I can highly recommend and see Hasbro uh, make a deal with Tubi TV the stream all of the seasons of power rangers including the recent beast morphers season um because thinking about super sentai being on there um because shout factory had to deal with you know with toei and saban to bring uh the power rangers the super sentai counterparts of zoo ranger through hurricane Ranger onto dvd but following the saban to hasbro changeover um the, the DVD licensed uh, di uh, distribution for di further distribution of bringing the rest of Super Sentai to DVD here in the United States pretty much is on pause or discontinued. And, you know, of course, due to the current rumor with Hasbro uh, wanting to split ties with Toei about after again with Dino Fury um, that they don't want to probably continue uh, Power Rangers in terms of, you know, adapting more Super Sentai after Power Rangers with Dino Fury after its two seasons are up. So I think maybe there is a there's a slight um, um, ubiquitous you know um, ubiquitous reason that they're not doing the rest of Super Sentai you know the Power Ranger era Sentai's for more DVD distribution and the last series they did on DVD was Hurricaneer but since we had this huge major changeover from Saban to Hasbro. And with Toei and with the whole Hasbro and Toei split thing, um, we're likely not going to get the rest of Power Rangers era, Power, the Power Rangers era Super Sentai of Abba Ranger onward onto DVD here in the United States. So if you want to watch Abba Ranger all the way to our recent Sentai before we go to our newer one, 
uh, go to again something like kissasian.com or um, uh, Grown Ups and Spandex or TV Nihong or the recent uh, web Toku Hub site that I found uh, tukoz.com there's a slight chance that I can see Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin through Beast Morphers being on Tubi TV because Hasbro has a contract with Tubi TV because most of Hasbro's shows like G.I. Joe, all the G.I. Joe cartoons, all of the Transformers shows, like the original Generation 1, Prime, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Transformers Animated, all of them are up there. And even, I think, Jim and the Holograms is probably up there. Last I checked, I think. Um... Hulu may be an option for Power Rangers, but again, if you want to stream Power Rangers on Hulu, but again, Power Rangers was on Hulu at one point, but that was during Samurai and Megaforce, and then when they were promoting Lost Galaxy on the Vortex on the CW at the time. So putting all of the Power Rangers on Netflix would not work, because knowing Hulu isn't as completely internationally global like Netflix was, and still, because Hulu, you know, not every show and movie that Hulu has is going to be up there for long because knowing Hulu once something popular leaves on their service it's gone and then you're just only stuck with crap you don't want to watch like something like let's say I don't know uh, a popular show you don't care for like Rick and Morty or a popular TV show you do care about like um, uh, The Masked Singer or America's Got Talent or um, Law and Order uh, SVU or something on Hulu or or any other classic popular show like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Angel or Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Beverly Hills 90210 on Hulu something like that you know or the uh, the oh, or any of the Star Trek shows that are on Hulu even if you've got Star Trek content on CBS All Access soon to be Paramount Plus and with speaking of CBS All Access despite that that service is changing its name in March. Uh, known as Paramount Plus, maybe Hasbro will probably put all of the existing Power Ranger seasons pre-Beast Morphers and Dino Fury onto Paramount Plus because considering that Hasbro wants to, makes, wants to make a current deal with Paramount Pictures to make that new Power Rangers movie reboot we're about to get soon. Um, I can see them put Power Rangers on Paramount Plus, but I think for us as a fandom, I think we need, need to take some time to grieve and process that with Power Rangers removal on Netflix, I mean, good luck trying to make pro, you know, a uh, bunch of petitions. I, I, I don't mean the, um, I was about to say protests, but like knowing that the petitions may, some petitions w would work and some wouldn't, but I think the decisions are final that I guess Hasbro just doesn't want to continue Power Rangers on Netflix. Um, but as for Mighty Morphin in terms of their situation with MMPR, um, for anyone who wants to binge watch MMPR, um, because that's the most popular version of the Power Rangers. So, um, for anyone who wants to binge watch Mighty Morphin on Netflix, when you go into the episode, um, selections, you're only going to get the first 60 episodes of, you know, that being AKA the first season, the, the most popular season of the three of MMPR. You're not going to get no more MMPR Season 2, no more MMPR Season 3, no Alien Rangers. And also, they. I, I remember back when I used to have Netflix, when I did binge, binge watch the MMPR five years ago on Netflix, and even once a little bit when the 2017 movie was coming out at the time. Um, they did have the 2010 reversion, but when you scroll down to the season selection of MMPR, they put down, they had a so-called season four, but that fourth season, if you were on Netflix long enough, they would have, they did have the 2010 Disney reversion of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers at some point, part of AKA MMPR season four, AKA that 2010 reversion. But they also removed the reversion, but actually since fans hated the reversion, it needs to go. And so you're only for anyone who wants to watch MMPR on Netflix, you're only going to be stuck with the reversion. I mean, season one. Sorry, I mean the original season one, not the reversion season one because that was awful. But it makes sense for Beast Morphers because Beast Morphers had already been finished, 
and uh, Dino Fury. I, I don't know what's going to happen when Dino Fury is done and over with. Maybe when Dino Fury is done for two seasons, I think once they'll probably, I mean, Hasbro will probably just let go of uh, uh, Netflix for Power Rangers and move Power Rangers to other streaming platforms that are for free and for, you know, pay, you know, for, you know, pay premium services. Like, I don't know, um, Paramount plus or, um, Amazon prime video. We don't know for sure, but for now we'll just see what happens, but cause I can see potentially the future for power Rangers on other streaming platforms, not Netflix. Cause let's face it. Netflix was good, but after all of the controversial stuff they put up there, uh, for the last couple of years after 2017, they've been pretty rotten. So, I mean, I don't want to keep you guys long enough, but I just wanted to bring up a little bit how I feel about this myself. But, but for someone who already has DVDs for most of the series, I don't have a problem with it. But, but I am a little, yeah, uh, you know, I'm a little um, disappointed that they have to take off most of all of the series for a lot of people that were watching the show on Netflix. Because you guys were binging the heck out of the older seasons on Netflix, uh, that um, because it was more convenient to watch Power Rangers on Netflix as opposed to. But again, I think it's it's time that I think we should all just take some time to grieve, like like as if we lost a best friend and or a family member of a of a death deadly disease and with Netflix removing Power Rangers but things like this happen with uh, a lot of popular titles of film and TV that was on a streaming service at first and then it leaves and but it's sometimes some of those popular shows and movies do come back if the contracts with the with the um stuff was re was renewed but we just don't know for sure what what, what Hasbro is going to do but we just need to see in the near future so those are my two. Those are my ninety nine cents up to a dollar on that point. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. I don't want to go on and keep you guys up all day and all night for this. If you guys are listening anytime with this video being out, so I'll see you guys next time with this discussion. And that's it. So what do you guys feel about this? Let me know in the comments. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.